What's going on, you guys? This is Apple Tech. Welcome to the third episode of Ask Apple Tech. This is where you guys ask your questions and I answer them in a video response just like this one. Now, before I get started, folks, I want to let you guys know that I'll be uploading these episodes once a month. So if your question doesn't get answered, it will get answered in the next episode and so on. And if you guys already thought of a question to ask me, feel free to drop it in the comment section below and it should be answered in the next episode. All right. So these first questions come from YouTube, starting off with the Pula July. I don't know if I said that right, but the question is, why do you have two laptops? I guess... They're talking about these two, the Mac and the PC. Now, the reason I have two of them is because it's the best of both worlds. You put it all together and yeah. Next question comes from Jose Mora. Nice first name. Um, can you make a what's on your iPhone video, please? It would be awesome. I just uploaded a what's on my iPhone. If you haven't seen it already, feel free to click that annotation right there. Link in the description below as well. And... I just made it. Next question comes from 6,000 Yaya. How many subscribers do you need to become a partner and what made success for on YouTube? Because I really want custom thumbnails. All right, so the first question is, how many subscribers do you need to become a partner? Um, I would say about a thousand. Once you hit a thousand, you can sign up for networks or it's pretty hard to get a official YouTube partner without accompanying with a network. Um, so I would say a thousand and then a network would be interested in you. So That's just my personal thought next one is what made success for on YouTube um, I do have a video on my second channel. I know I'm directing you guys to videos, but have an annotation right there also link in the description um, That's a video giving you the top 10 tweaks on how to be successful on YouTube. So Feel free to go watch it. Next question comes from addicted to Conlin. I don't know if I'm saying that right. This question is, do you smoke weed? Uh, don't give me no bammer weed. We don't smoke that shit in the SLD. Don't give me no bammer weed. We don't smoke that shit in the SLD. I don't, I don't think so, no. Next question comes from Lima for the win. Do you have a girlfriend? No. Next one comes from the raised 98. Would you upgrade your iPhone or iPad to iOS 6? That's pretty easy. iPad first and then the iPhone next because I do use the iPhone a little bit more um, when I'm doing my tweak video. So I want to be on the safe side, stay on iOS 5 for now because it is untethered. Once they come out with the iOS 6 jailbreak for all iDevices that is untethered, then you'll see me updating. But for now, iOS 5, baby. Next question comes from Vov1234. Should I get a mod for my iPhone 4S to make that Apple glow up? Now, if you guys don't know what he's talking about, it's pretty much a mod on YouTube. It was a video showing you how, how you can mod the back of your iPhone. You guys see right here, um, just to make it glow, and it does cost a little bit of money to do that. If you really want to and want to customize your phone make it look different from others wow other people then go ahead and get it it's not necessary but it's just a cool thing to have on your device i wouldn't really mess with this because it does void your warranty like many people would say so yeah but not really for me all right enough youtube comments let's head over to twitter let's take this First Twitter question comes from Vic Ram 300. When will the untethered for iOS 6 come out? Uh, couldn't really put a certain date. Depends on how the developers are moving. I hear that they already Joe broke the iPhone 5 that was on iOS 6. Um, I would give it a month or so. No later than a month from this video is posted and you will see the untethered jailbreak. Now that's just my personal predictions when it will be released due to other jailbreaks that I have gone through. However, it is hard to jailbreak for the hackers. It's not a walk in the park. It does, it's pretty much like a math problem, but 10 times harder for the hackers to find a bug and then they can make it untethered for all iOS 6 devices. So pretty much be patient. Don't rush the hackers and they will eventually get it out to you guys. So, yeah. Next question comes from Dela Goku. Do you have a tether jailbreak with iOS 6 or no? And what is your favorite Cydia Tweak app? 
Um, first question is, do I have a tethered jailbreak with iOS 6? I did jailbreak my friend's iPhone 4, which is available to get a tethered. If you guys don't know what that is, feel free to go visit that video right there and it will tell you pretty much everything about it and show you how to jailbreak um, your A4 devices such as the iPhone 4, 3GS and iPod Touch 4 generation. Um, any other devices won't work because um, hasn't been released yet but if you have one of those devices you can get it tethered on iOS 6 and it's not my device but it, I jailbroke it from my friends. You can say I, I did one but don't have it. Now when it comes to favorite tweaks and apps, it pretty much changes every month depending on what tweak or app gets released. My current favorite is of course Springtomize 2. That is pretty much my go-to tweak when I want to customize my phone. It gets like a lot of minor tweaks and puts them together to create Springtomize 2 which is an awesome tweak. If you don't have it already, feel free to go download it. Now the next two Twitter questions are pretty much similar coming from JB Tech and Kyle's Tech. They're asking me, will I get the iPad mini and what do I think about it? Now the iPad mini going on on what I think about it, it's pretty much an enlarged iPod touch going against the Nexus 7, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Would like a mini iPad with a big screen form factor, but at the same time fitting in one hand and probably fitting in a pocket if you have big pockets. But anyways, it's pretty portable and doesn't look too big like the iPad, which is nothing wrong with the iPad, but yeah. And of course the price point is gonna be pretty low, so a lot of you guys may get it. And personally, I will get it. We'll have an unboxing just for you guys. <laughs> just for you guys. Next Twitter question comes from Anthony Joseph 2. Do you think Apple will redesign their entire operating system for the future or just keep it the same um, look and feel? So what I really think about it is Apple will pretty much keep the same layout. They might tweak a couple things. That's what I believe. It's um, nothing's facts are proven, but I just think they're gonna keep it the same. Just upgrade a little bit of things, fix a little bit of bugs here and there. Um, probably change around the icons, um, keep the same layout, but probably customize each icon so it looks a little bit better and doesn't look like the last five years or anything like that. But um, overall, I think they're going to keep it and just tweak it up. All right, last Twitter question comes from jbarozo 99 about how many tweaks or other jailbroken things do you have on your iPhone? Now, let me just check that out real quick. Um, Go to the settings. All right, um, in the settings, I about have like four tweaks, not that much. I can even list them. Activator, Infinity Board, which allows your springboard to go up. Um, Password Pilot, great for when you're downloading, saves you time, downloading apps, that's what I mean. Um, Winter Board, I just have that because I have a custom ringtone, and that's what I use to set that custom ringtone, either for text messages, ringtones in general, yeah. All right. And then of course the last one is activators, so which I think I already said. Um, so I pretty much keep it uh, at the minimum. I don't wanna stack my iPhone with tons of tweaks and then it will slow down, which, which doesn't really slow it down, but it, it will kind of drive it a little bit slow because you do have a lot of stuff. So if you're planning on having your device run like it originally was, then don't install a lot of tweaks that you're really not going to use. Just install the tweaks that you really, really like or you really, really use on a day basis. So, yeah. So, guys, that's much going to do it for episode three of Ask Apple Tech. I want to thank all of you guys who asked your questions. Now, if your question didn't get answered, it will get answered in the next episode. But until then, you guys know me. I'm Apple Tech. Hey. Next question comes from, what the hell, 10 minutes? <laughs> What's going on, you guys? This is Apple Tech. Welcome to the third episode of Ask Apple Tech. This is where you guys an answer, what the hell? I see you. <laughs>